without reading the title, look at the colour of the blue moon rose. What colour is it? It's certainly not blinking blue, it's is it? It's not bright mauve. blue. It's Purple. a mauvey grey blue, yeah. yeah. There we are. That's very Rocky. kind of you, Steve. <laughs> Have you got some eggs or something down there? Oh, I've got you some eggs. Try to play. Oh, thank you. Give me the eggs. Don't give it because my missus thought those eggs were, were lovely. He's out there, he's. Don't give him the eggs. He, do you know he killed a chicken once? He killed his daughter's pet I ran chicken. over it by mistake. Oh, there's mine. That is what I fear now with my giant rabbit, of course. Double. That, uh, it's That's so my big. little family. It's not the fact that it dies in the accident. It's the fact that the damage it will do to any vehicle that hits it <laughs> that worries me with oh, this the, giant with the giant rabbit. rabbit. So you've got a family of chickens. Yeah, I've got me five pet chickens. So and going, going, sorry, Doc, going green for you, is it good or, I mean, with your interest in, in rubbish and dust carts and bins, is it more exciting going green or is it ruining the old days? It's completely different to the old days. Everything was just mashed up in the back of the lorry and dumped in a hole in the ground in landfill. Mm. Yeah, but what's more exciting for you? It was more exciting seeing everything get mashed up, wasn't it? But mm -hmm. <laughs> things have changed. We've had to change. The holes in the ground are just not there anymore. Most of them are for mineral extraction. But what about all that gravel that's coming out the ground? There must be creating holes for the rubbish to go back into. We've, dumped, we've probably more building going on in Britain than we've had in the past 30 or 40 years. Well, from where I come from in West London, when I was a kid, it was all gravel pits. Mm. Then it was all landfill. Now they're building on the old landfill sites, and there wasn't any landfill available. Um, our waste was being taken out to Oxfordshire to landfill by train at night. And now mm. they're talking about maybe having to barge the rubbish off the Isle of Wight. When Limbottom mm. Tip is filled up, they have to barge our rubbish into Portsmouth, apparently, or, yeah. or down to Cost somewhere. Cost us all a fortune. And they haven't got any landfill over there. Mm. I mean, they've actually got a um, waste-to-energy plant now in Portsmouth. Where does most of London's waste go now, then? Still uh, in barges north, down the Thames? North-west London goes by train to um, Oxfordshire, Bedfordshire... The brickfields at Bedfordshire. Uh, the, old, yeah. the old brick fields, London yeah. brick. That uh, must London cost a fortune, fortune mm. trucking it and yeah, training it. Yeah, you're talking I mean, 90, 100 pounds a tonne to take it away. <sighs> Thousands of tonnes a night. That goes by train. East London, there's another load goes by train. Uh, they've got the incinerator at um, Edmonton, North London. The ones in the um, middle of London, uh, most of that is taken by barge mm -hmm. out to Essex to landfill. They've also bought a, built a new uh, incinerator cell chip at South East London. Um, the South London boroughs, Sutton and Croydon, they're actually taken down to Kent to sand and uh, chalk pits. Well, there's a lot more uh, rubbish action in, in London. Do you, do you mm. miss that, living on the Isle of Wight? Oh, I don't miss the traffic and congestion, all the pollution now. <laughs> I've got used to this way of life. Uh, but you are headed off to the mainland, you were telling me. You're going down to the, is it the Institute of Waste Management Conference in Torbay? Yeah, exhibition at Torbay, Paynton, yes. In a few weeks. What, what yeah. actually will be, what will you be doing down there? I will, I've been asked to exhibit Get my... Get an autograph. Uh, <laughs> no, I've been asked to exhibit my refuse vehicle down there, having a parade of old refuse vehicles at the uh, exhibition around the streets of Paynton onto the uh, showground. Uh, I've been asked to, to um, take mine down there and they're supplying a transporter for it. Uh, it's the premier waste event of the um, the year, really. It's the Oscars. Companies the from all over the world business. come there. Now get a big bin list instead of an Oscar. 01983 Excuse me, Steve the Bin Man. 01983 Anything to do with bins, dust carts, rubbish. If you've been to Steve's house and you've seen the shrine to dust carts, let us know. Hi, who's this? Hi there, lads. It's Ray. Can I have a chat with Steve? Of course yeah. you can. Hello. Hello, Steve. Hello, Ray. Childhood memories. Uh, when I was a kid, I can always remember the uh, dustman coming round and picking the dustbin up, putting it on his shoulder. That's right. right. That's how I started. And he went to a, a, a dust cart and it had a sliding lid to the side. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. What were they called? What, the side loaders? Mm. Yeah. Is that what, they, what was the manufacturer? Because I could never remember as a kid. Oh, there was many manufacturers. Um, uh, you're not talking about the um, the old Shelvo and Drury. S &Ds. I think he is with a with a rounded back. That's it. And they had two sort of sort of door, like lids. Lids. Well, yeah. many yeah. many companies made them. Um, oh. Shelvo and Drury's made the first ones. Oh, well, so that's what I've been looking at. But there was no compaction, so no. they weren't very efficient. Oh, that's were they? right. No, a lot of it was ashes anyway. In and pushed in and pushed in. When was where was this, Steve? Uh, well, you're the, sorry. They, sorry, who's this? Am I talking to Steve on the phone? No, you're talking to Ray. Ray, I've written down Steve here. I'm so sorry, Ray. Ray, where was this? Well, when I was a kid, I lived in Sussex in a place called Southwick. Right, OK. And they used to come round for the refuge. And, and as I say, as a young young kid, five, six, seven, always see the dustman. Uh, you know, you think they're great big birdie blokes, lift the dustman for the rubbish up mm. on their shoulder, 
straight into this thing and then shut the lid down. They'd always have a fag and a cap on and they'd have those uh, donkey jackets on. And uh, when I was a kid, it was the Sandown Shanklin Urban District Council. And I'm oh, sure... Right. He's got Binman's arm, look. Yeah, he has got Binman's Is that Binman's arm, Steve? He's just lifted, I suppose. I'm look at Steve. Over the years, yeah. Steve's arms are really Strange. weird. They're like Popeyes. Mm. Yeah, that's it. They all look like Popeyes, I remember, as a kid. Yeah. I mean, I was only little, so that everybody looked bigger, you know. Yeah. What about your back, Steve? Is that all right? Yeah, it's all right, yeah. Oh, he's, he's, he's fitting well, then. <laughs> but happy memories, obviously, Ray. Sorry? Happy memories. Yeah, too true. Anyway, take the care. The vehicles then. actually right, were collectively you. known as side loaders. But side there were loaders, many yeah. different types of. I think of, I had a um, dinky one with the old side loader. Mm. Yeah, a dinky one. Yeah. Dinky or corgi. Um, Steve, I've got to ask you this question too. Um, presumably, your all time favourite song is the old Lonnie Donegan classic, is it? <laughs> no, not no really it is, isn't it? Like, uh, what a gall blimey trousers, that's what I want. Can you actually no, sing it? Yeah. Could you no, sing? No, I can't sing. You can't sing? Life. No. I you have sing. never, I don't believe, Steve, that you've never sung My Old Man's Dustman. No, I've never sung it. I can't, I can't sing to save my life. But you, you must, know the words. You must have it as a, I a, on a CD at home. I haven't. Your house is a shrine I to I dust cards. I have got a CD. Obviously, I know it'd be yeah. 20 or 30 years, probably, uh, God willing. But uh, presumably, at the crematorium, when you do go, <laughs> that will be the song they play. They might want to be buried in landfill. <laughs> I won't be there, will I? The spike wheels, you know, pushing him down. On the compactor. Will yeah. you have that played at your funeral? I've no idea. No, no, I've never, never thought of uh, that. At no. All. no, I can't think of any other rubbish. Well, I can think of a lot of rubbish songs. We're going to other songs to do a rubbish. It's appropriate to someone like you. So tell us about your house. When I went, when I go through the front door, it's a little cottage, isn't it? Uh, it's a semi-detached. House. Semi. When I go through, what's the first thing I see on the wall or the front door? What's oh, it well, called? There's a name plaque outside with a. What's the name, Blackman? Oh, it's. Uh, I was going to change it to Shell Vote, but it's actually still Dusty's Rest. It's definitely Dusty's Rest. Up, up yeah. the Shell Vote. He's got a little dustman there with a, with a dust cover. Yeah, and then I go in through the front door. What's the next thing I see? You'll probably be struck with all the photographs on the wall. Photographs of all what? Are the family and friends? No, dustman on the rounds. <laughs> all around the country. <laughs> Steve, listen, Steve. Let's just stop you there. Family and friends. Yeah. No dustman on their on on yeah. their rounds. Well, he knew them all. Do you? Do you think that's a little bit weird? No. You every, don't? Every picture there tells a story. You'd be there for, you'd be there a whole day with me just looking at the pictures. I mean, I've, in my house, in fairness, to, I've got a picture of an, a lot, one of my first lorries that I ever owned, which I uh, take a great pride in, but I certainly did at the time. I've also got a picture of a hearse, I think, and a limousine. Yeah, but you're an house. undertaker and you, they're scattered around your house. I've been to your house. There's pictures of your know, ex-wives as well as your current wife and, and kids and all that. People. Now, you've got people in your photographs, but, Steve, if you did have a woman in your life, you probably wouldn't hang around because of your love of dust carts, <laughs> would she? No, she wouldn't like that. Would so, so I pass through the hall and I see all the pictures of the bin men and, uh, and Stardust dust Lil, that's yeah. who he should be with. And then, when I go into the kind of, the, what do you call it, the, the front room, the sitting room, the lounge, the lounge. what do I see there? What's the, You've got a fireplace? Yeah, I've got a stone fireplace. What's myself. above the fireplace? There's a mirror. A mirror. On top of the fireplace with some models. Models of dust carts. And there's framed photographs mm -hmm. of, of Shell Vote and Drury Revo Pack in the old village. <laughs> Shanklin, your 1990. Mom, your do you want the registration number? Yes. Yeah, go on. D35SGS. Now, this little dust cart you've sent us here, Steve, you, you've sent across the desk to me here. Um, what, 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 what is this, a Dennis? No, that's a Shell Vulcan Drury NY Revo pack. Right. Now, you've... Um, I don't know who made this. Was it Corgi or... Yeah, it was Dinky? a Corgi model. Right. Now, you've put out your... You've inked in a registration I've number. I've actually um, done that in the old Hounslow co Council colours. Well, the current... They are the current colours. Mm. Uh, what, what colour was this before? Oh, years ago, up till 75, they were cream. Then they went uh, lime green in 76. Right, so this is lime green. How did you feel about the Hang on, what about the registration number? Is that a real registration number? Yeah, that's Johnny Johnson's old lorry, 109, Gang 3, no, NLT 719P. Who's Johnny Johnson? He was the driver of that lorry from New. He's retired now. Yeah, but Alex, you're pulling faces, but I don't think that's unusual. My dad worked for Fine Lady Bakeries in Banbury in Oxfordshire, and I remember SRP 5662. Yeah.